Legends! Hey, it's me, Jet, back in the land of endless updates and questionable decisions. Skyrim. Bethesda dropped another improvement, which apparently means bricked half your mods and left you staring at an error message. Progress! Now, this was a few months ago, around December, but that's irrelevant as they just keep doing this. So the main issue that is going on at the moment is Bethesda keeps releasing updates to Skyrim Anniversary or slash Special Edition. Now, I wouldn't mind a good bug squishing, but Skyrim's bugs are practically a mascot at this point. You take away the NPC's T-posing and what do you really have left? A normal open world game. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, thank you. I came for the chaos, not the coherence. Now, look, I'm not against developers updating their games, but this specific update mostly only fixed bugs with the Creation Club. So, first, Todd, you create a bunch of paid mods no one wants, struggle to sell them, so you sell them in a package deal in the Anniversary Edition. Then, when the mods are actually broken, you fix them all, breaking every free mod that's just better in every single way. That'll make them real stiff, Todd. This update went straight for the jugular. The mods, the lifeblood of Skyrim, the community-made content that keeps this game from being dead. You know, the stuff Bethesda doesn't have to create, yet somehow manages to destroy with every single update. You might be thinking, Jet, how does this patch affect mods? They're just to fix bugs and the update of the Creation Club of all things. Some of these things read are good, and you know what? The problem with that is every time Bethesda does this, every mod you were using beforehand is now unusable. Modders only make mods for specific game versions, and this normally isn't an issue, especially for a 13-year-old game at this point, but for some reason, Bethesda keeps pushing out update after update, which keeps breaking all the mods on repeat because they're only made for specific versions. Oh, and the fun part is, some mods legitimately never get updated. So you're forced to downgrade your version of the game to actually play these mods anyway. So the update is arguably pointless to anyone that actually plays the game long term. Speaking of destruction, remember the paid mod fiasco? Well, Bethesda definitely doesn't because they thought it was a good idea. And apparently, they're back at it again with Skyrim Creations. Look, mod authors deserve a reward for their genius, but charging extra for mods in a game we already own feels like buying a whole new game and then having to pay extra for a fancy horse armor set. You remember that, guys? I do. Hear me out, some of these mods are fun. Heck, I have all of them because they have the Anniversary Edition bar a few. But they are nowhere near as good as 90% of the mods on Nexus. So the fact that Bethesda keeps prioritizing these subpar mods over the actual things keeping the game alive is baffling. Let's say you buy the game today, or specifically, Little Jimmy gets Skyrim, and now he has to pay extra for some terrible mod he could have got on Nexus that was far superior. Jimmy buys the mod on the Creation Club. Yay! Now Jimmy has an armor set, a gun, and he's very unhappy. Given he could have got all of that, and had a completely new quest line, or completely built his own town for free. Just to name a few examples, the Nexus is crazy that way. Jimmy could have got, with the same money, Dave the Diver. Jimmy could have got Stardew Valley. Jimmy could have got Project Zomboid. List goes on of games that he could have got instead. Obviously, prices fluctuate, but thanks, Bethesda. Now, yes, these prices aren't super comparable, but look at these prices. They dropped them in this update, but the maximum amount of credits you could buy for the future is $40. For some reason, let's just say you bought $40 worth of credits today, that's 5500 That's not going to last you forever. Now, let's say you specifically want items that are worth 600 credits. That will get you 9 items. And for 800 credits, that's only going to get you 6 items. 9 mods versus 6 mods for $40. And you know what? Here's the funny part. You might be saying, hey, that sounds like a pretty good deal. $40 a bunch of mods, play the game that I like. Yeah, on Nexus, they're free. Yeah. And... The prices. The prices. Some of these credits cost more than a brand new fucking game. Todd must unironically be sitting on piles of cash and a few Lambos at this point. You're wrong. You're fucking poor. 
The point is, the modding community already gives us incredible stuff. The most part, for free. From epic adventures to dragon melting graphics. They turn Skyrim into a living, breathing world. Why pay extra for something that is not even anywhere near as good? Now, Bethesda wants to support models. That's great. But hear me out. Fuck off. Instead of that support, why don't you just go to your favorite modder and support them through Patreon or the Nexus donations? That way, the money goes straight to the heroes and legends who deserve it. Not Bethesda's ever-growing pile of microtransactions. This whole thing terrifies me for the future of Bethesda, because slowly but surely, they are becoming more and more of a microtransaction-focused company instead of the Bethesda we knew. The guys who made amazing games that, sure, had loads of bugs, but heck, they added to it. It was like part of the fun. It did really didn't take away, it just made the games better. If they really needed the money that badly, they could have just made Starfield actually good. I know, I know. I'm throwing shade. And for some reason, if you actually like Starfield, that's good. I'm glad. You can check out this video. Why not? I played Starfield. I beat it as a naked person without a spacesuit. It was funny. Or better yet, it's been 13 years. I was fucking 12 when Skyrim released. I am 24 now. It has been more than 10 years that I have experienced life and I didn't even get to see Elder Scrolls 6 yet. I could have gotten to a car crash or died by now and not be able to play this game. I will probably, unironically, be 30 when the Elder Scrolls 6 releases. Put that into perspective. Also, if you really want to feel old for a second, just remember, the Elder Scrolls 6 announcement trailer came out five years ago. It feels literally like yesterday. I swear to God, it feels like it happened a couple months ago. Nope, it was five years ago. And the worst part is, I really have a terrible feeling that the Elder Scrolls 6 won't be that good if Starfield is anything to go off. If you want a video explaining what makes a good Bethesda game, leave a comment down below. Maybe if I make it, and it gets enough attention, Bethesda might see it, and the game will be good. Heck, you made it this far, why don't you hit the subscribe button? You can always undo it later. Now, I love Skyrim, but why the fuck has it taken it so long to get to the next title? I understand they had to make Fallout 4, I understand they had to make another Fallout game that will not be mentioned, but why? If that is the case, if they're moving on to other titles, why has Skyrim been released seven times? Yes! Seven fucking times since 2011. Now you might be asking, what? Yes, you have the original Skyrim, you have Skyrim Legendary Edition, the Skyrim Remaster that no one talks about because it was trash, Skyrim Special Edition, the VR ports, which only people who play VR actually play, and the Switch ports, which I'm going to be honest, I actually like that because I like playing it on the Switch. However, you put it on a TV, it looks like shit. And the one to break them all. Anniversary Edition, which just was completely unfucking needed and should have been separate from Special Edition, so you could just play Special Edition without all the bullshit and having to downgrade. Thanks, Bethesda. This trend has been here for a while, but it just makes you think, where is Bethesda going, and do they even care when they update their game and completely fuck over their community? So, if you're interested in modding Skyrim as of today, downgrade to an older version. Yes, you'll miss out on survival mode, fishing, armor sets. Oh wait, no you won't, because you can just get that all for free anyway on the Nexus, plus more. Plus, if you really wanted to, you can just donate to the people to support the modders you really like anyways. Which gives them a career, meaning you get your mods faster. Whoa. I don't understand Bethesda's decision recently. But, Skyrim, the gift that keeps on giving. Seriously, these videos right here paid my rent for a month. Check them out, they're great. Skyrim, the gift that keeps on giving. Even if those gifts are broken updates and the overpriced mediocrity. I hope Bethesda just stops pushing this. I hope they stop updating the game. I hope they've just gone, you know what? It, we're good now. We don't need to add any more. There's a bunch of content there that people can buy. I hope they leave it like that. I hope they stop re-releasing the game. It better fucking not come out on the fucking PS6 or whatever. And lastly, fuck off with paid mods. No one wants it. Just make DLCs. Let the community mod the game. That's it. And with your next title, don't rely on mods to make the game good because you end up with people leaving. Until next time, legends, keep exploring, and seriously, fuck off Bethesda, we do not need any more updates. Peace.